Let's get on, Sammy. I'm looking too good, mate. What's happening? I don't know. It's, I think it's my thoracic again. You can't breathe? No. Nah. Not when I put on oh, your head down like that. Or turn it. So if you put oh. your head down or turn. Oh, like that. It just shoots into your chest. Yeah, why would you go to the back? To your back. Yeah, it just takes your breath away. Yeah. Okay. You know, like when I first came here? Yeah. Like yeah. that. Yeah. It hasn't been like that for ages. No. You can see it in your breath. You're struggling. Oh, it's, it's killing me. Have you noticed anything else like indigestion or bloating or, um, uh, you know, changing your heart rhythm or anything like that? Get any palpitations or funny heartbeats? No. Good. So you're just getting this really sharp pain in here. Yeah. And like someone stop stabbing me with a knife right into my spine. And it's stopping you from getting your air. Yeah. Okay, we've checked Sam out thoroughly and this is where his subluxation is here at T8. You can see a little bit above the spine kicks off straight. This is where the nerve pressure is here. Yeah, that's it, I can see. There's a lot of swelling in there too. There's a lot of hurt in there. <laughs> This is what a subluxation looks like sometimes from the outside. And then you've got this big massive bulge of fluid and then the spine goes back to normal again. So in there, you've just got this masses of water just sort of floating underneath the skin there. It kind of takes up from that space to that space and it spills out around there and it spills out around there. So it's quite a nasty thing. He doesn't look like he's in such bad trouble because his body's found a way to get the pressure off the nerve itself but if I got him to drop his shoulders or if I straighten him up he'd just about hit the floor I reckon. So if I just put a bit of pressure on this vertebra see how he wants to run away from me that's just the smallest amount of pressure there. <laughs> and that side's real bad. Uh... See like that what I'm doing there Sam is this much pressure. Yeah no, I'd... no doubt. <laughs> All right, buddy, we can fix this up on this table. Come on. All right, you can see this is all, see how rock hard these muscles are here? They've just got these two big channels of massively guarded muscles, like they just won't let go at all. Yeah, that one right there. Yeah. <coughs> Compare that to that there. Oh, yeah, that one. Okay. That one's the worst one. Compare that to that there. They're all as bad as each other. They're pretty all, they're all good friends, I think. <laughs> oh, shit. That's pretty crook in there too, isn't it? Oh. That's the one that I decided in the chair is your problem. Oh, shit, Ian. Does that go right through your chest, mate? Yeah, that's like... Yeah, that, that's the nerve oh. pressure there. All right, buddy. Because of the, how guarded these muscles are, I'm going to use a different contact to what I would normally use for this. I've got to get over this massive, look at that, it's like a big valley of tissue there. Alright, this is not going to be easy for you, mate. But I'll make it as gentle as I can. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, like this is within seconds. Can you see that that dip getting less? Mm. It's like a totally relaxed. See this muscle's letting go? He, he hasn't got that, before I could grab a chunk of muscle. Now it's obviously there because we've all got these erector spinae muscles, but it's not sitting up like it was. Obviously there's still all this fluid there because, you know, that can't go away in five minutes. These muscles are starting to let go. See how that's got some, it's got some softness in it now. That was just rock hard before. I'm going to stand you up, Sam. See how that feels, mate. Good already, I know. That's great. Yeah, feel a difference? Oh, yeah. That's instant. Like stand up straight before I was like this. Oh. Get some air in? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, 
see. Like, no. Awesome, mate. <laughs>